Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I will answer the question Can I use ClickFunnels 2.0 for email marketing? and hopefully help you decide if it's worth switching from any other autoresponder that you're currently using. No sugarcoating from my side, just pros and cons of ClickFunnels 2.0 email marketing solution that I discovered while trying to migrate from Active Campaign. The first question probably would be why would you want to switch to ClickFunnels 2.0 and use this platform as the platform for your email marketing instead of any other autoresponder? And I guess the answer is quite simple if you're already using ClickFunnels 2.0 to build your site, funnels or blog or a course and so on. You're already paying the monthly subscription and because this platform includes the solution for email marketing, you can as well use it instead of paying for a different software for email marketing. But I guess the biggest concern would be if it's good enough and if it will cover all your needs. And I hope that in this video you will learn everything that you need about the email marketing module in ClickFunnels 2.0 and then we'll be able to decide. So let's get started. First of all, in ClickFunnels 2.0 you can collect your contacts, like in any other autoresponder. ClickFunnels 2.0 does not have lists, but you can assign tags to contacts and then sort the contacts based on this tag. You can also create segments based on different filters. Let's add a new segment and you will be able to see what kind of filters ClickFunnels 2.0 has here. Those are not just the conditions that are related to the contact itself, to the contact information, but also to the actions that contact performed on your funnel pages. For example, enrolled in the course, owns product, purchase product, and so on. On one hand, it's of course good because ClickFunnels 2.0 collects the data from your funnels, from your site, your blog, and so on. And based on this data, you can then segment your audience and also create some filters in workflow. But on the other hand, I think they're missing some filters that are related to the contact itself, to the action of the contact related to the emails that you are sending them. Another point that is still confusing for me, that as mentioned ClickFunnels 2.0 doesn't have lists and that's supposed to be like this, so they're not just missing this feature, that's their idea. And the contacts, when they opt in on your funnel, for example, they sign up to a specific topic, let's call it a general topic. So they can subscribe to a topic and also unsubscribe from a topic. If they click an unsubscribe link in any of your emails that you are sending from ClickFunnels 2.0, they will see a list of topics that you have added in ClickFunnels 2.0 and they will be able to unsubscribe from those topics. The disadvantage, however, is that there is no way there is no tab where you can go and see what contacts are signed up to a specific topic. For example, what contacts sign up for a general topic. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be like this or it's something that they will add in the future, but to me it seems like this part is missing. The next important point to consider here would be the import of contacts. And that feature is already working in ClickFunnels 2.0. And I think it's quite important if you want to migrate from any other autoresponder, because you may already have thousands of contacts there. You can just export them as a CSV file and import them in ClickFunnels 2.0. And of course, you can export your contacts from ClickFunnels 2.0. So let's move further. Let's move to the marketing itself. What can we send from ClickFunnels 2.0? What can we create here? First of all, you can create email templates. And I think it's quite handy because you can create a template with your branding, logo, and so on, and use it in the future. But you can also use the templates that ClickFunnels 2.0 already has by default. Next, you can send broadcasts or in other words, one-time emails. In my opinion, ClickFunnels 2.0 provides quite a good overview on the performance of the email. You can see all the important metrics here. But what's missing for me, because I'm used to it from Active Campaign, that I cannot create a new broadcast based on this broadcast. For example, in Active Campaign, I used to send a broadcast and then wait for some time, see the performance of this broadcast. And then Active Campaign would offer you resending options. For example, I could resend the broadcast to people who didn't even open it with a different subject line. And unfortunately, ClickFunnels 2.0 doesn't offer something like this right now. 
By the way, if you like what you see so far, if you think that the set of features that ClickFunnels Stupid provides for email marketing is enough for you, you can start a free trial of ClickFunnels Stupid You can find links to the trial in the description. One of them would be just for a 14-day trial of ClickFunnels Stupid and another one for an extended 30-day trial. But if you want to take the 30-day trial, then you will need to sign up for a free your first funnel challenge. All right, let's move on. Another important feature would be creating automated email sequences. They are called workflows in ClickFunnels 2.0. And of course, it's not just the sequence of emails. You also have different conditions and different actions that you can include in the workflow. Let's have a look at the workflow that I created here. You can choose different actions as a workflow trigger. For example, it can be application or removal of a tag, calendar event, order, purchase, opt-in, page view, and so on. You can also choose on which page and in which funnel this event happened. You can add text to the contact. You, of course, can send emails. Add delays. Set some conditions and based on these conditions split the path of the workflow as I did here. But what's missing for me here? In Active Campaign, I used to split my path and create a condition if the contact opened my previous email. Here it would be the condition if the contact opened my email too. Unfortunately, ClickFunnels 2.0 doesn't offer a condition like this. Most of these conditions will again be based on the action of the contact on your funnels, on your pages and so on. Of course, there are some that are related to the contact itself. Like you see here, first name, last name, created, updated, unsubscribed, contact details, tags, and so on. But the rest would be based on the contact's action. And while on one hand it's quite powerful, because ClickFunnels 2.0 collect all the data from funnels, pages, and can provide you with the filters based on those actions, to me personally, some filters that are based on the contact's actions regarding my emails that I sent before, are still missing. But I do like the visual representation of the workflow and I think right now it looks quite intuitive and user-friendly. And let me show you what actions you can add to the workflow. You can of course send emails, you can split the path of the workflow, add split tests, add some delays as we already saw, triggering of the workflow, end path, add conditional goal, tag contacts, add notes or notifications, Add some third-party integration, webhook, last but not least, enroll the contact to the course or unenroll from the course. By the way, the third-party integration is handy if you still want to use a third-party autoresponder, like for example Active Campaign. You can add this step here and then you can connect the autoresponder that you are using. For example, Active Campaign, Aweber, ConvertKit, GetResponse, and so on. As for the actions that you can add to the workflow, it may be enough for you depending on the complexity of the automation or the workflow that you have in different autoresponder, but it also seems like it's significantly less than in, for example, Active Campaign. But again, it depends on how complex your automation is and if this set of features will be enough for you. Alright guys, that's it. I hope that this video will help you to decide if you want to use ClickFunnels 2.0 for your email marketing, if you want to move from a different autoresponder that you're currently using to ClickFunnels 2.0 to save some money on your subscription. If you want to learn more about ClickFunnels 2.0, check out our ClickFunnels 2.0 Mastery Course. You will find the link in the description of the video. As mentioned before, you will find links to the free ClickFunnels 2.0 trial also in the description of this video. And if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to enable notifications. Do not miss out on the future content and see you in the future videos. Bye bye!